In a factory in England, engineers are trying to build the fastest car the world has ever seen. It's called Bloodhound, and it's designed to reach a speed of over 1,600 kilometers per hour. It's part Formula One car, part supersonic jet, part next generation rocket. And this is the man who will drive it, Andy Green, a British Air Force pilot. This was him back in 1997, breaking the previous land speed record in the desert in Nevada. But does the idea of going even faster make him frightened? With the risk management, the safety management we can put into this, can create a car that will not just get to a thousand miles an hour, but we can monitor every aspect of it all the way. So we can actually do this safely. And more importantly, in the digital age, we can actually tell the story live as we're doing it. 12 video cameras on this car, we will be streaming live video onto the internet. So wherever you are in the world, you can actually watch what's happening in the car as it's happening. This is where Andy Green and Bloodhound will try to break the record, the Kalahari Desert in South Africa's Northern Cape. This high-tech challenge relies on old-fashioned sweat and toil. More than 300 people have carried more than 18,000 tons of rock off the Hackskeen pan with their bare hands to create this perfectly flat surface. This car will eventually consist of three and a half thousand handmade pieces put together to create one very unique machine. But to what purpose? The engineers here insist that although this project is certainly fun, it's far from frivolous. They hope it will inspire a new generation of schoolchildren in the UK and across the world to take up science, technology and maths. We don't need in the next 5, 10, 15, 20 years a load of supersonic car designers. However, for the low carbon world we need to work towards, we need people to go into those sciences, technology, that those technologies that can actually solve the problems of the future. And that will only happen if people are excited enough to the science to stick with it. At full speed, Bloodhound will travel the equivalent of four and a half football pitches in just one second much faster than the speed of sound. The Bloodhound team hope to inspire the world as they take a journey into uncharted territory. Barnaby Phillips, Al Jazeera, Bristol.